so one of the things that people mess up all the time when they're growing and scaling their business, and I've helped hundreds scale past multiple seven figures. I'm Scott Oldford, by the way, if you don't know me, make sure you follow, subscribe, like, actually, join the email list because shit on this fire if you're scaling a business. All right, so here's the deal. Here's a problem. Massive problem. Someone gets a business and it's working. And one of two things happen. Number one, they find this like new method or new framework or new thing, new traffic source or like whatever it is. And they like go all in, in on it before their other thing is broken. Like they'll take the resources from the thing that's working and they'll be like, oh, let's do this other thing. Any strategy that isn't the one that's already working needs to be applied over time. So I'm going to give you a perfect example of this. One of my methods, one of the things that I teach is called skip the pitch. And it makes it so you can eliminate phone calls. And people come into it, and generally when people come into it, they're like, they have a big sales team, they're pissed off with the sales team, or they've got all these calls on the calendar, and so they'll try to go to text message closing, uh, which I've done since 2019. And so what people don't realize is like I was starting to do text message closing for three years up to the point that I actually like transitioned over to it and didn't have a sales team or anything like that. And so the problem is, is that people try to implement a new strategy, try to implement a new thing way too quickly. And when they try to implement something way too quickly, what happens? The revenue breaks. So if you, if you do anything, if you do anything that is, I mean, it's pretty much every element of business. It doesn't matter if it's marketing or sales or operations or delivery. If you're doing something brand new, you want to integrate it over, ideally, six months is the shortest amount of time, ideally two years. But of course, most people have a hard time being able to actually do that. So that's the first thing that, that is, is a problem. But there's also the opposite side, right? The opposite problem is somebody not implementing something at all. Or they implement it uh, too late, or they implement it in a way where they, they're like, well, it's, this is, things aren't broken, so why do I need to do anything? Perfect example on this. Someone will get Facebook ads working, and they start scaling Facebook ads, and then one of two things happen. Neither one, the Facebook ads stop working, or they can't scale anymore. Uh, or their ad account gets banned. And then, of course, in both of those scenarios, one's more urgent than the other, but in both of those scenarios, what happens? They're like, oh my God, I gotta go and try to like figure this out now, and now my revenue's cut off. Puts this whole tailspin on the business, they gotta let people go, they can't grow anymore. And so, in that case, what they should have done is once you get one thing working, start actually getting the next thing working, and getting the next thing working, it will slow the growth of your company because, of course, focus allows you to be able to have a lot more compound interest. Anything you focus on allows you to have more compound interest. But once you get a business to a certain degree, you've got to start diversifying not just the income streams, the traffic source. You've got to start diversifying so that you're not in a place where it's like, oh, my God, that like evaporated. And then I also see this with people like not implementing, for example, AI into their business. They're like, well, maybe that's not for me. I'll like wait on it. And I guarantee you. Uh, there's going to be two types of businesses in about five years that um, those who use AI and those that are no longer a business. I'm not here to sell you anything on AI. I'm just, just an example. All of this to say, make sure you're strategically thinking about your business and the decisions you're making. Make sure you're in a place where if you're going to implement change, you do it in the right way, the right rollout. Not just because you're like, oh my God, we got to do this. This is new. This is the hot thing. And at the same time, if you're going to um, uh, uh, not make change, make sure you know why. Make sure it's not just because you're comfortable. Make sure you actually are evolving. Because I guarantee you, if a business does not evolve, it 100% of the time will die. Scott Oldford here. Appreciate you watching this. Give this a like if you like. Give me an email, subscribe. I'll see you next time.